So that's what I've been obsessed with my whole life is how do you have it all? To people to be really successful in business, yeah, that's not that hard to do. You just work your butt off and you know, work hard with smart people. To have a great life, heck, go get a nine to five job working at your local community center or an easy job working for a government office. You can have a pretty good life. But to have both, that's tough. Or as, uh, as I shared with one of you this morning, I didn't realize it wasn't a common term, but that's the cat's ass. As we yeah. 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 In order for a company to be its best and achieve what it has the potential to, it needs to make conscious choices about where it's gonna to grow to and where it wants to be when it grows up, tangible conscious choices. And then it needs disciplines to follow through to actually move towards that. Most people don't really make a clear enough conscious choice about what they want to do and definitely don't have the disciplines to follow up on it. This is one CEO I work with that hates the bane of his existence is email. His number one stressor, email. Like some people could ignore their email inbox, he can't. If his email is over 20, he's actually anxious, like anxious, because it bothers him because he's a caring person who really wants to, you know, get back to people and do good work. He said to me, uh, Kevin, do you have anything good to tell me? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, you want me to be like everyone else there that tells you you're wonderful when you're not? And he sort of smiles and laughs and continues on. Now, why don't we do enough strategic thought? Well, because it's hard. What's the payoff for strategic thought? Three to five years in the future sometimes, or at least a couple months. It's not today. So we're so busy that we don't take the time to carve out and have enough strategic thought, and we end up with a execution plan. Problem is, the same thing happens in business, unfortunately. And I didn't know this when I got in. I thought business was different. But people and leaders in business have the same pains, same troubles, and sometimes the same demise that, that, that these rock stars have. And it's obviously tough, but the problem is it's mostly a secret. People don't talk about it. And but the biggest thing is we gotta take it from being a secret to something that's on the table that they're comfortable talking with us about. And that's why you gotta be open and be vulnerable. Because then it's safe for them to bring up alcoholism, drug issues, stress, burnout, feeling stupid, not knowing if they can keep it together because we're opening it up. And when stuff goes wrong, you gotta blame yourself, right? And most human beings and most egos don't handle that particularly well. I would much rather blame Mike. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay. It's all about Mike. If anything goes wrong today, it's Mike. I would much rather blame the weather. The economy, that's an easy scapegoat. <laughs>